Welcome to Act Promptly, the improv game show. I'm your co-host, scorekeeper, and resident Thembo, B. And I'm Ellie. Welcome to the Champions Trial. Hey, wasn't that the name of the DLC for Breath of the Wild? Uh, close. Those were titled The Champions Ballad and The Master Trials. Uh, well, The Champions Trial is kind of like Act Promptly DLC in a way, except you don't have to pay for it. You do still have to wait sometimes, though. Uh, we have a fantastic show in store for you tonight, wherein our players will compete not only to move on to our season finale, but also for a $25 donation to the charitable nonprofit of their choosing. Let's greet our contestants before we begin tonight's game. First up, our favorite overlord doesn't plan on lording anything over anyone, but even if he did, would he be wrong? It's Devon! Hi, I don't know how I got here. But you got me now. You don't have a choice, all right? <laughs> Unfortunately, Holly had to step away from the competition, but we are happy to welcome Devon back to play for charity. Thank you, Devon, for returning to the show. Hey, wake up. Next up, he's the relief you've been looking for in your lower back. If you've been needing a supporting cushion for oh. your chair, then Ellie, is this the right profile? Ah, shit. That must be the one for Lumbar Jackson. <laughs> you know what? Understandable. This is Lumber Jackson. That is the first time I've ever heard that. That is the only time I think anybody has made that association. Thank you for welcoming me back. <laughs> Thank you, Jackson, for returning to the show. <laughs> Thank you. And finally, if you find yourself getting the sense that laughing at improv comedy is bad or wrong, that's not our fault. That's just the Bluto narrative dissonance. It's Bluto. It's, it's true. Please consult a doctor if you think that you are experiencing BND. Please. There is help available. <laughs> Thank you, Bluto, for returning to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Ordinarily, this is where we would let our players talk about their charity of choice, uh, but this is a special circumstance, uh, so I will get on my soapbox for a brief moment before we begin. eSims for Gaza is a grassroots movement that is ensuring communication remains possible and accessible in Gaza. It is important that the Palestinian people living through this crisis are able to talk to their loved ones and share worldwide the reality of what is unequivocally a genocide. Uh, here on Act Promptly, we have the luxury of continuing to host a silly little game show, but that does not mean that all is well in the world. And right now, eSims is one of the tangible ways that we can do something. If you would like to support eSims for Gaza, you can learn how at gazaesims.com. All of our players uh, have decided uh, that they will all be playing to support this charity, um, and we are happy to do just that. Um, so thank you, everybody, uh, for showing your support in this way. If you'd like to submit your own prompts for us to act out in a future episode, just check the show description. If you'd like to help us keep the show going, you can check the show description for info on how to do that as well. I'm sure our players are eager to play, so are we ready to act promptly? Yeah! Yay! Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin with some act promptly classic. Each of you will take turns acting out a prompt on your own in 30 seconds. When it's your turn, you will start by selecting a prompt using the clues from the board. We are going to start with Devon for this one. So Devon, go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. I know you think you know what I'm going to pick, but I'm actually going to pick Tommy Wiseau. Here is your prompt. Uh, Tommy Wiseau is cast as Mario instead of Chris Pratt. Oh, hello! It's it's a uh, it is a uh, me, it, Mario, and I uh, I'm here today. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out with my family and fix fix some. Oh oh, oh this pipe! Oh, I, I'm getting sucked into another world. My brother Luigi, no. Oh oh, what is this wonderful mushroom place? It's so good and beautiful. Oh. Princess Peach, oh, I just met you, but you're the love of my life. <laughs> We're going to do everything together. That's good. You know, I think you've captured Tommy Wiseau's energy just, just plenty. You didn't get to the part where I, like, broke my cart in half. That was good, Devon. Uh, I think I want to give you three points for that one. Well done. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank Don't you. Don't you take Dragon Quest, Bluto. Jackson, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Jackson, take it. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with... Daft Punk. Here is your prompt. Daft Punk makes a comeback, but perhaps they should have stayed disbanded. Hey, what's up? It's me, Guy. You know, from the hit duo Daft Punk, I'm back. <laughs> this is what it sounds like when we don't use the robot voices. The helmet got stuck during a photo shoot. I just sound like this now. Uh, I've decided that we're going to start using AI to make music. Isn't that oh, great? Brother. We're going to use AI, and you can help fund my new endeavor of Daft Punk as a solo featuring Guy. We're going to use AI 
and you can use crypto to help fund this new endeavor. Well, that certainly would make me think to myself, they should stay disbanded. Yeah, you know what? Let's give you three points for that one. Good job. Hell Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bluto, we are over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt oh, from the board. I have to, now that Devon has mentioned that there was a Dragon Quest Redeem. Take the Dragon Quest Redeem. Here is your prompt. An excerpt of the plot of a Dragon Quest game, told like a children's picture book. Once upon a time, there was a little slime named Slimon. He had a goo family between the three of them, his mother, his father, and him. However, trouble was appearing in his little forest. A warrior had appeared to take down his family for negligent EXP. Slime, <laughs> Slimon could not bear to handle this alone, so he prayed... <laughs> <laughs> so he prayed... <laughs> Uh, Pluto, you don't know anything about Dragon Quest, do you? No. <laughs> I, I'm so mad that he joined Robbie's stream last night and got all the information he needed to assemble that. I'll get you. Pluto, I'm only going to give you two points for that one. <laughs> Fine by me. I got my slime and pun out. Devon, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. This is my favorite The Things video. Give me that, Lupin. Uh, here is your prompt. The real Lupin the Third doesn't think the anime adaptation depicts his life faithfully. Ah, oh, chakra blue. What is this? What is this drivel? What is what is this mess? Who is this Lupin the Third that says he's my great great grandson? Why is he in Japan? I <laughs> I wouldn't go over there. What what in the world? And he's and he's got a a a, a sniper and a a samurai. I'm Lupin, and I work alone. My Lupin friend. is French, and I am him. <laughs> I'll give that one two points. Hey, not one. Jackson, we are over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Uh, mm -hmm. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Here is your prompt. Inspector Gadget doesn't understand how exactly he wasn't meeting the needs of his ex. Go, go, Gadget, delete Tinder off my phone. How you doing, Toots? It's been a minute. What's going on? <laughs> Hey, that's great. Oh, I'm glad that you and your wife are getting along great. Uh, you got room for one more? Go, go, Gadget, shoot my shot. Okay, I understand you're happy now, but you don't gotta be mean about it. Yeah, I still live with my, my niece and the dog. Yeah, the dog's still alive. We put robot parts in them. They put robot parts in the dog. They put, they put robot parts in them. That was, that was pretty solid. Um, I don't, I don't know that it was, uh... I don't know that it was like exactly what I was looking for with regards to like him not meeting the needs. It just kind of sounded like <laughs> he just sucks as a partner in general. Oh yeah, no, he does. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'll give you two points for that one. That was pretty respectable. Yeah, I think that's not a, one. I think the two points is is reasonable. Bluto, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Everybody's expecting me to pick Twitch. I'm Wait. gonna pick Twitch. <laughs> All right, here is your prompt. News anchor spent too much time on Twitch. Your top story tonight, ladies and gentlemen, a five-year-old got his balloon stuck in a tree. Can we get a Bible thumb for that one, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Speaking of which, I've got a top story coming in just now. The train tracks have been derailed over by 4th Street. <sighs> Hype train failed. <laughs> Today, though, we have more about our charity incentives. Can we get some pog champions for that one now wait a minute someone who'd been on twitch would not say pog champion i think he would spend too much time on twitch but get it wrong he um, watched it a lot but that does not mean he got it i think i understand i think i'm i'm, I'm picking up what's being put down yeah fuck it we can give that one three points yes yeah, <laughs> <two>. <laughs> that, was slim, that was slim and spray <laughs> devon we are back over to you go ahead and pick a prompt from the board Give me the Pokemon. Here is your prompt. Who cares if Pokemon were real? Theorize instead about if animals were fake. All right. So, you know, I I know y'all want those little those little fire breathing creatures to be real, but I you still can't prove to me that this little thing walking around me meowing and shit is real. You know, it, it, it doesn't, it's not potty trained. It poops outside of its litter box. I, I, I think it should know how to do that. And like, you know, there's these little chirping things outside. That felt really fat. Did I do 30 seconds already? Yeah, you did. I just, I pictured somebody who had spent so long 
just like seeing fictionalized versions of cats that would as soon as they see the real thing, they're like, nah, this is breaking my immersion. <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not true to fiction enough. Yeah, I'll give you three points for that one. <laughs> not two. Jackson, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Uh, I was thinking etiquette. Here is your prompt. Dining etiquette written by Redditors. Hi, yeah, no, welcome, welcome to, welcome to Dining Manners. All right, first things first, always when we go to dinner, we want to pull the chair out of the person we are dining with. Very good. Next, we want to get down on our knees and see what kind of shoes they're wearing. <laughs> and then, once we've established that, we want to take the shoe off and start getting a good lighting angle in order to take pictures for our subreddit. Yes? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't expecting that specific approach, but also, like, yeah, Redditors do just kind of talk about everything through the lens of if it benefits this specific subcommunity that we're in. We got to move this to a different thread. <laughs> yeah, I I think I'll give you three points for that one. I think that was funny. Let's go! Bluto, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. I will take magician. Here is your prompt. A cleaning product that's really a stage magician who can make your messes disappear. Wizzle, the new self-cleaning product that can help you in your day-to-day -day messes. Have you ever had a spill at your cereal? Well, now you don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> and it's gone. No one has to worry about it. <laughs> you got any messy stains on your windows? Wizzle, it can take it and just abracadabra it away. <laughs> uh, any other stains, be they oil or whatever, grease stains, the wizard can deal with it too. I like Wizzle as a name. It's <laughs> it's just the right amount of yucky. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling a two on that one. You were you were saying B? I'm feeling a two. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Devon, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Give me that bully. Oh, uh, give me give me that one. Here is your prompt. A mandatory company wide message from the CEO who was recently picked down by a schoolyard bully. All right, everyone. Per the corporate email that I sent out later, we had Bring Your Kids to Work Day yesterday, and I just wanted to let everyone know we will no longer be doing those. Uh, <laughs> you'll notice some bullet points in the email. First off, uh, your children aren't allowed to come up to me and call me an oil baron who's destroying the earth. <laughs> um, I found that rude, Todd, in accounting. I will find you later today. I liked that. I liked the sort of like stilted CEO vocal pattern. And also the starting move. Yeah, we're not going to do those anymore. <laughs> we're, we're, we're I, also, those out. I also love that you interpreted it as it was like an actual schoolyard, like a kid bully, like a mm -hmm. child. <laughs> bullying an adult. I love it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you three points for that one. Not I'm, two. Jackson, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's do library. Here is your prompt. You can check out a book from the library, and if you're feeling adventurous, proceed to flirt with it. Hey, welcome on in. You get to check those out? Yeah, no, that's, that's a good selection. Dr. Seuss is pretty good. Oh, yeah, one one fish. Two fish. Mm. Yeah, red, red, mm. red fish, yeah. Blue fish, too. Mm. Mm. What? No, 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 yeah, no. Places you can go, you can go anywhere with, you can go anywhere you want with this book. Yeah, no, it's, it's real good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cat in the hat, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah, no, the star belly sneeches. Mm. <laughs> I got a lot of stars on there, don't they? Oh my god, <laughs> man, I can't even be mad about that one. That was just funny. I think I'm gonna give that one three points as well. Good job. Let's go, good job. Pluto. We are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. I think it's time <laughs> for good time. Here is your prompt. Don't threaten me with a good time. I beg of you, please. I'll do anything. <laughs> Please, please, I'll do anything. Please, I don't want to be whimsical anymore. I just want to be normal. Please, I don't want to have a good time. You don't understand what'll happen to me if I have a good time. Things, things around me break. They get a little wacky. I, I can't do it. I miss my wife. I just want to live a normal life. Don't make me go back to the good times. I just want to have awful. I don't want to do this anymore. Please! Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I think that was well acted enough that I could I, I can ignore the fact that it, I, I don't feel like it added much to the concept because I think you kind of like went all out with the performance aspect. So I think I'm going to give you three points for that one. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Devon, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. B, you pick for me. 
I'm going to give you Clown Nation. Oh, hell yeah. Here is your prompt. President Honkster, elected leader of the Clown Nation, addresses the protests of a rebel group of mimes. Uh, hello, my fellow uh, clownians of Clowntopia. It's me, President Honksters, and I'm here to talk to you today about the group of misfits. Uh, I see you over there, known as the Mimes from Mimington. They're here today to try and protest me from keeping them for What? I, I can't hear you. You're not saying anything. You're just pantomiming. Don't don't you dare start pulling that rope. You won't pull me off stage. <laughs> How dare you? Talk about direct action. Um, <laughs> that was good. I, I like. I mean, I don't like President Honkster. I think he needs to fuck off. But I like the character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he needs to explode. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you three points for that one. <laughs> uh, Jackson, go ahead and pick another prompt from the board. Let's do housing. Here is your prompt. A housing complex somehow markets itself with amenities that people actually want. We here at the Delaware housing market love to pride ourselves on amenities that people sometimes ask for. Here you go, solar panels, totally getting rid of your electrical bill. That microwave from Spy Kids, you wanna make an instant <laughs> hamburger? Here you go. Well, what's this? Oh wow, trampolines built into the ground, indoors, that's crazy. <laughs> And for the low, low price of a monthly loan of $2,000, only $2,000 monthly housing fee. That's insane. No HOA. Can you believe it? <laughs> you can get this free home in Delaware. We um, love Delaware. Please God. What the I'm hell is going on in Delaware? I would pay way more than that for the microwave from Spy Kids. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I think, I think microwave from Spy Kids bumped that from a two to a three. <laughs> Hooray. Pluto, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Uh... Coffee. Here is your prompt. In the future, you have to be even more specific when ordering coffee. Uh, hi, can I have an ethically sourced uh, brew with a one eighth dash of elderberry added into it in a silicone slash styrofoam cup mixture? Uh, I'm quasi allergic <laughs> to chicken. So if you could cut out all poultry products from this drink and three sprinkles of donut bites added on top, can I have a 30 inch swirl straw <laughs> and could it be lightly warmed at the very bottom? Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I loved that. That was just the right amount of specific I was looking for. Um, and you didn't skip a beat either. Uh, so I, I think <laughs> I think I want to give you three points for that one. Easy. Oh, uh, big three. The future. We are down to our last three prompts of the round. So Devon, that means this one's going to be your last of the round. So pick give, blood, give blood, give, give blood, blood, give blood, blood, give blood, give blood. Uh, here is your prompt. Using a newly found exploit to donate infinite blood. Hey, so I, f I finally got my my mug for reaching the new high score for, do for donating blood. It turns out that, you know, when you go to give blood, if you simply, if they deny you, you simply go to the next town and don't let them know that you've already given blood today. Sometimes I like slap my arm like six to seven times <laughs> to make my veins get all bulgy and my arm get all red and they don't even notice that I've been poked before. That's the way to do it. I like that you described the exploit. That could have gone a number of different directions, but I enjoyed that one. Uh, it is good to do give blood. You should give blood. Give blood responsibly. Don't give lie about blood. how much blood you've given that day. <laughs> give blood once and then wait a while and then give more blood. <laughs> You do still need blood in you. I, I liked it enough. I'm going to give it three points anyway. I'm, I'm normal about getting three points. <laughs> Jackson, we are back over to you. Go ahead and pick your last prompt of the round. Uh, you so want to give me shapes and you know it. I yeah, so you want to take college party party wanna, so I kind of want to do college party. You want to exactly. do college party so bad. <laughs> Here is your prompt. Guy at a college party lacks object permanence. Bro, first party of the year. Yo, is that a keg? What up? What up, Sharon? Hey, yo, is that a keg? Hey, what up, Sharon? Yo, dartboard? I love darts, dude. Let's get to is that a keg, bro? Let's get it. Let's stay. What up, Sharon? How you doing? I haven't seen you since last semester. Yo, what up? Dude, is that a keg? Yo! You gotta get me up on the Dude, we gotta play darts. I didn't know this was a dartboard in here. We got in here. Dude, we gotta play keg stand, bro. Me and you right now. We gotta get on that keg right. Sharon! I had a guy at a college party walk um... up to me several times. And ask me who I was. <laughs> oh my so, god! So this is a this is a real guy, <laughs> relatable character. Shoot, I think I will give that one 
three points. You get a three pointer for that one. Oh, thank uh-oh. you. <laughs> Bluto, we have one more prompt and it is going to go to you. Are you ready to see it? Yeah. Bluto, here is your prompt. Kindergartner presents a tier list of shapes. <laughs> so um, I, I think that triangles are like the object permanent. Like in my tier list, they are the best. <laughs> They I go with they're going way on top because they top of the pyramids, you know what I mean? Also a shape, but they go on the bottom. Now squares. Squares are a middle of the world kind of tier. I don't know if they're really that supportive of other things, but they don't deserve to be at the top of other shapes. You know what I mean? Now, Dodecahedron <laughs> Dodecahedrons are really hard to put in any tier list at any place. Probably because it's hard to say, huh? I love how you kind of went back and forth between the kindergartner voice and a Boston accent. <laughs> Very specific sub niche Boston <laughs> kindergartner. Right. I'm right here. Bluto, I think I'm going to give you three points for that one. Well done. As stars at the top of the tier list, too. <laughs> Let's take a look at everybody's scores at the end of round one. Uh, it looks like Devon and Jackson are tied for first place with 17. Oh! Bluto, just like just like a single point behind with 16. It's always a close game at the end of this round, but uh, everybody's doing real, real good. I think it is time for us to uh, go over to our first mini act. What mini act? Uh, an old one. From season one? A fan favorite. Is it really? Who can say? The fans can. And they do. This game is... Three little words. Players, you will be paired up to act out a scene in which you must take each of your lines in turns, and each line can only be three words long. We'll give you more points to the player who performs the best, but if you repeatedly break the three word rule, we might not be so lenient with you. There are a number of strategies for keeping your lines brief, like fragmenting your thought into separate statements, throwing in an interjection at the end of a two word line, or if you happen to catch yourself about to say a fourth word, simply stopping and leaning into the absurdity of it. Three little words is a fun one. We have retooled it to be a two person game rather than a three person game like it was in season one. Uh, What we are going to do is we are going to start with uh, Devon and Jackson for this one. Y'all can go ahead and and pick one of the prompts from the board to do your scene. What's that smell? Smells like trash. Sure, yeah. What's that smell? No, I was just quoting Sonic. No, no, no. You you oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you, you put it in. No, I was you... just quoting Sonic Adventure, dog. <laughs> <laughs> We're too late. We're doing what's that hey, smell. All right. We're you know what? That's too late. We fell in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're good. Uh, so this can either be the line that you start with or just a general theme of the scene. Uh, but Devon, you will go first. Oh, uh, we wow. Why are you yelling? What is that? Oh. That's trash. Is it trash? Maybe it's alive. Did you wipe? <laughs> Should I wipe? Of course, sir. I don't wipe. We're breaking up. <laughs> what I do? You smell bad. You smell bad. I'm not Steve. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> Steve? I liked where that was going. That felt like it, it just was out of I, nowhere. You were, you, were about, you, were, you were about to get Steve Jobs. <laughs> God damn it. I was, I was going to pull you until Steve oh, Jobs no, doesn't Oh no, Javon. I'm so sorry for cutting that off too early. No, that was good. Uh, I, I liked that oh, one. I liked, I liked the way that progressed. Who is Steve? Who is Steve? Oh, like. <laughs> I want to give Devon three and Jackson two. Uh, just because okay. De- Devon, I was I was feeling <laughs> I was feeling your reactions a lot more. This next one is for Bluto and Devon. Uh, so go ahead and oh. pick one of the two. Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, Bluto, you are going to go first with the first line. Bro, you heard? No, I haven't. How haven't you? I mean, no think. <laughs> <laughs> you no think. Uh, 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 me brain low. Ah, me get. <laughs> Whoa, oh, what you want? Let's go. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> me no do. Ah, celibate. C. <laughs> yes, me ace. Ah, my fault. <laughs> it, it okay, slime. How about book? Ooh, ooh, book! Let go! <laughs> ah, favorite book. Me love book. Mm, grapes of Wrath. Mm. <laughs> book bad, though. Mm. Bad book? Why? <laughs> book bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Holy shit. 
No, I'm stopping it there. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck a bad girl. I did not mean to turn into a Neanderthal. <laughs> My, I, no. You weren't supposed to run with it. My brain actually just stopped working and oh said, "What?" Devon, that's like that's like an S tier strategy for this game, and I'm I'm so glad you pulled that off. I had to a, adapt. You got mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. I uh, wasn't getting you. I stopped thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you could have fooled me. You could have fooled me though, because that sounded like that whole time I was like, Bluto, Bluto's saying the lines quicker, but Devon's just like throwing the like the most interesting curveballs. I think Devon really killed it with the comedy on that one. Sorry, Bluto. Devon's gonna get the three. I'm gonna get the two for that one. I'm sorry, my little one. <laughs> Bluto, you have another chance to impress me because this next one is going to be for you and for Jackson. Uh, and the prompt for this one is gonna be, "Got a match, bro? I'm tired. What's wrong, man?" Oh, I need cigarettes. Uh, I see. Do you smoke? Yeah, sometimes. Prove it now. Prove it now? Yes, light up. (laughs) I don't smoke. (laughs) How'd you like that? (laughs) With my mind. You have powers? <laughs> I thought you. Hey, what are we? <laughs> Aren't we friends? <laughs> are we lovers? <laughs> are you Steve? Me, Steve Jobs? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, that was really, really good. I think I am going to give uh, Bluto the three and Jackson the two uh, only because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, the smoking acting was like really, really good. And Jackson, you said four words a couple times there. Oh, <laughs> but I, I did hear that. Yeah, <laughs> but I it's know. fine. It's fine. What are we? <laughs> what are we? <laughs> what are we? <laughs> uh, at the end of that round, uh, Devon managed to pull ahead with 23 points. Uh, Jackson and Bluto now tied for second place with 21 points. Still very much anybody's game. Uh, B, do you want to tell everybody about round two? Let me tell you about round two. We're going to be bringing it again round two of our game, which is act co in which you will act in pairs. Two of you will team up to select a prompt from the board and then act it out for us. There is no time limit for this round, and you will now be scored as a team. We are going to start with Devon and Jackson for this one. Uh, go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. You were so good at Dr. Seuss. <laughs> That's true. Somehow Jackson <laughs> predicted to... the Dr. Seuss prompt. I need you, I need you, I need you, I need that magic back in my life, baby. You're also in the lead, so I don't know if I want to assist you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, oh, collusion. That is you know what? Day. That's, that's very fair. Pick Knuckles. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's do Knuckles. <laughs> All right. Uh, here is your prompt. Knuckles finally chuckles at the worst possible time. Friends and family, you're gathered here today to mourn the passing of a beloved community member the chief firefighter of our small town who ran into that building at the last second and saved all those orphaned animals just in time. Tis a shame that a stray beam supporting the entire building fell upon him, completely severing him in twine. It was a grisly sight. This is why this is a closed casket funeral. It is a it is a massacre in there. It looks like a look it looks like a painting. It looks like somebody dumped a bucket of paint into this coffin. I I cannot stress this enough. We are not letting people approach, not even the family. So please, at this time, I would like to ask Knuckles the Echidna to speak on behalf of the deceased. Yes. So I'm. What? What the? What the fuck was his name again? <laughs> Chief, Chief Jerry. Chief, Chief Jerry. I might not have known Chief Jerry personally, but I just want you to know that I respect the work that firefighters do. And I just want you to know, I want to open that casket. I'm tough for the I, mother. Please, I think I can take it. Mr. D, can I advise you, please do not open that casket, please. I'm not like Sonic. I can't open up this casket. <laughs> Sonic's not even invited. Exactly. Which is why step I away. have to be Please in. step away. Your, your op- gloves are very dangerous. Don't I'm, don't point them at me. Please no, step away. No, back, back off. I'm opening up. I, don't swing those. <laughs> <laughs> Did they shit all over this guy? It's gay. <laughs> <laughs> no way. They shit him. We all 
knew what was coming. It was still very funny. I I liked that one a lot. I think I want to give you both three points for that one. Good job. (laughs) (laughs) This next one is going to be for Devon and Bluto. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. I saw one that immediately jumped out to me, and I'm hoping that through my psionic powers that you could feel which one it was. Ancient curse. Ancient curse. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Here is your prompt. They're putting ancient curses in the stupidest places these days. Bluto, you will not fucking believe this, dude. What's up, So, man? I was carrying cash today, and I went to go get my usual flavored coffee. Right. And and the cash, I I, I gave the, the cashier my cash, you know. Normally, I play with plastic, but I was like, I got a few bills on me. Right. And I hear the ding of the cash register that opens up, and my, my, my ass was spills forth from the register. <laughs> and I, I, hear, I hear an ancient droll play in the background. And and she hands me a coin, and and now no matter what, I ca- I cannot keep my pants up for the life of me. Belt, no belt, <laughs> it's actually insane. What was on the coin? Was it like a scarab or was it a sarcophagus? Bro, it was the sarcophagus. Oh, dude, I know. What's the that... scarab? <sighs> the scarab's at least a little bit better. They're beneficial curses, but like they just are really weird outcomes. Like I went to like the library, right? And I was gonna check out Sliman's story. And uh-huh. as I was checking it out, the librarian said, Oh, you know what this is in like pig Latin. Which is wild to me that I understood it. But I guess because their eyes were just completely blacked out, maybe it went into me. And uh, now I understand Pig Latin. Oh. Yeah. Well, who, who's that guy standing several feet behind you? We gotta go. We gotta fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I, I liked that one. Um... Yeah, you know, I, I I see no reason to not give that one three points for both of you. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome job. <laughs> Hooray! This next one is going to be for Jackson and Bluto. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Do you want to do somebody that I used to know? Might as well, I, yeah. I will make it work if y'all don't pick that. Don't <laughs> you worry. Here is your prompt. Tricked once again into recreating the music video for Goche, somebody that I used to know, 2011, featuring Kimbra as a sex thing. Hey, Listen, that that date re- went like really well. I'm glad that you wanted to come over. Uh, you wanna you wanna take things into into the in the bedroom? I mean, it's like, do you think it was like that good or? Yeah, man, I was open to like the communication that you were willing to give me on that date. I I'm willing to go home with you and take it a little bit further. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, like come on in, make you make yourself at home. Uh, wow. I'm gonna, I'm this gonna, is, I'm, this is a really I'm, spacious studio that you've got here. Oh yeah, no, I uh, I used to be a an artist. Uh, people ah. used to know me, but now that now they don't anymore. But ah. you know. So you were a somebody. I was a somebody, but okay, now I'm a nobody. Okay, okay. But that's okay. What's with the blank wall? Is this like a statement that you were making? Oh, uh, it, it, it's it's a canvas for my next thing. I, I might make like a comeback. It's been I I don't know. It's been like 13 years. I might I might do something. Who knows? But, um, <laughs> 13 years. Yeah, no, it's been a bit, but it's okay. Um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, you know, you want you want a drink or anything? You want to get comfortable? You, you like the ambiance? Yeah, yeah, I'd like a drink. Uh, I just did that wall get a little bit of color while I wasn't looking? Huh? No, 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 no. don't worry about it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, it, I'll it, take a drink. What do you have? Yeah, no, I got blue. Oh, got water. So like, so like, a, a longing blue, or is this like? just blue it's it's kind of like a like a tepid blue more like a more like a melancholy i used to know a guy that had a really tepid blue about him oh really uh like what what, what, it's so crazy uh hey do you mind you like take this paint bucket like a couple of these paint buckets and put them over here real quick yeah sure this isn't like this isn't like gonna do anything to me is it no uh i don't (laughs) know like i've had a i've had a past relationship where this happened and i just I don't want that to happen again. You know what I mean? I don't want to just be somebody's canvas. No, I get you. No, okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm more like a body artist though. If you're comfortable with that. So like, I'm going to, if you're, okay, if you're cool, okay, I'm going to, okay, okay. I'm going to start like, I'm going to start like lining out work. Do you want to, do you want to be part of this? Yeah, because I think it'd be, it'd sure, be nice. Sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. All right. So you're going to start from my groin or. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean like. Okay. You know what? All right. Sure. <laughs> sure. I think that's a good place to cut it off. <laughs> 
we all know where it's going. I, I liked all of the things that that really reward the viewer at home for understanding the song Goche, somebody that I used to know, 2011, featuring Kimbra. Somebody. Yeah, fuck it. That's three points for both of you. Good job. Brofist. <laughs> Brofist. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now we are back over to uh, Devon and Jackson for this next one. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Also, next time, can, can, can you replace that with uh, Kiss from a Rose by Zeal? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. I, I would I would have been able to kill it if you if you give me that one. Is it okay if uh, the very, very next episode of Act Promptly uh, in the Champions Trial with different contestants contains the Kiss from a Rose one? Or should I wait till you're back on the da, show? Da, da. No, no, no. It can, it just, just put it in the next one. Okay. What are you feeling, bud? Coming back for the Dr. Seuss. I don't know. I'm not giving you the edge, bro. <laughs> bro! <laughs> we sports. We sports. Taking that from you and Bluto. <laughs> Uh, here is your prompt. Your grandma is absolutely destroying you in Wii Sports. <laughs> That's right, little whippersnapper. I'm getting your ankles today. You think you're about to out tennis me? Hell no, you ain't. Grandma, I don't like visiting you when you're like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Now pour me another, another crayon, another vodka crayon, and uh, come over here and get that ass whooped, baby. When is it my turn? It won't be your turn if you keep playing like that. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, sorry, Grandma Fell. Can you pick me up real quick? No, I, I'm in a bowl. You got a turkey. It's my turn. You stay down there. <laughs> no, no, no. Turkey? Where, where am I? Where were we playing? I thought we were playing tennis. How do we get the bowling? You playing <laughs> with me? You changing the games up on me? Why don't we just both play golf? Like we we both know that we sports golf sucks. Come on. No, now you scared of me. Now that you told me we were playing bowling, you don't want to play bowling no more. You want to move over to golf? All right. Watch, watch this. Woo! Holy what? Let's see you go, little man. I don't think this is worth the Christmas presents anymore. Well, you know <laughs> what? No more Christmas for you anymore. That's we're, fine. we're skipping. We're skipping right past that. We're skipping through all of them. Going right to Easter, young man. Is this why Grandpa got impaled with a Wiimote? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if he didn't want to get impaled, he shouldn't be standing behind me during my backswing. You should just wear the wrist strap. <laughs> I've been on this earth a lot longer than you. Ain't no way I'm putting no wish strap on. What? <laughs> wrist strap? Wish strap? What? Wish strap? <laughs> wish strap? Rip strap? I don't. I don't need words to whip your little tail, boy. I can't wait to put you in a home and get you away from this thing. It, <laughs> it, it, ever, ever since you started playing Wii Sports, you've been different. Good, and I'm going to stay different, because you know what? As soon as they put me in that home, I'm about you best believe I'm about to whip all their tails of Wii Sports. <laughs> Can I call my mom, please? I'm going to go home. No, oh, this is your home. You live here now. <laughs> I love now. this woman. <laughs> I would do. I would die for this woman. Devon got so lost in that character, just like jumped right into it. There was there was no setup for that one, and it, and it worked perfectly. Uh, so you know what? I think I think you both played off of each other well enough to earn three points again. Oh, that's right, baby. I <gasps> told you. Told you beating your ass in that game was gonna get you points. You didn't believe me. <laughs> I don't even know you. Uh, this next one is going to be for uh, Devon and Bluto. Go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Ah, uh, finally, Dr. Seuss with Bluto. <laughs> Taking that from Jackson. <laughs> I did think about doing that. No, we're playing wizard football. We're definitely playing wizard football. All yeah. right. Uh, here is your prompt. Commentating a football game where all the players are RPG wizards. And it looks like Leviticus is coming up to the pitch here. Will he spike it? And... Rose of Thorns. <laughs> it is good. Oh my god, he's really showing what a guy with a three-foot staff can do. Quite insane indeed. But it looks like there's a flag on the play. Illegal orb maneuvering. It looks like it's oh. going to be a five-yard penalty for the receiving team. That's sure going to cost him. And look at Spartacus over there. Leg broken, but still in the game. Illegal ah. moves will get you somewhere. <laughs> We're going to have to cast Mend Injuries and Mend Face, because it looks like he's being a little crybaby about it. Oh, man. I sure hope he can heal that off. Well, at the start of this quarter, it looks like the Sioux Spellcasters are versus the Minnesota Missionaries, and we have a good sponsor time. Hi. Welcome to Wizzle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's right. A little wizard in every spray. <laughs> Did you know that you could have a very own wizard in your own home? That's right. Every spritz of this thing cast a mighty powerful spell in your home. And for our play of the game, it looks like 
Spartacus has come back onto the field and he is willing to risk it all. He is putting 14 orbs onto this play. That hasn't been seen in like 30 years in Whizball. Slime and snails and puppy dog tails. It looks like he's going to go for it. Oh my God. Is it going to take it all the way? Oh my God. He does. <sighs> the Minnesota missionaries are this year's champion. And it looks like they're going to cast fireworks. Yay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I liked that. That was cute. I was riveted. So yeah, take three points. The two of you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we are going to have uh, Jackson and Bluto do this one. Uh, so go ahead and pick a prompt from the board. Hey, Bluto, you want to do Dr. Seuss? <laughs> <laughs> no! I've, I've dreamed of you asking me to do Dr. <laughs> Seuss, Jackson. <laughs> Here is your prompt. A video essay on Dr. Seuss with quotes and excerpts guest narrated by Macho Man Randy Savage. No, this is perfect for Bluto and Jackson! No! <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, today, we're going to continue our excerpt on exactly why Dr. Seuss was an environmental extremist uh, as opposed to a capitalist. As you can see here in the Lorax, we have the Onceler, who is very much dressed like your typical uh, economical capitalist and all green, believe it or not. There is no subject. It's a symbol. <laughs> it's, oh, oh, yeah, it's a symbol for the corporate greed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Savage. Uh, corporate greed yeah. is very apparent all throughout the Lorax, both in its in its novel form and its film feature, believe it or not. This child's Ooh. book, <laughs> this child's <laughs> novel was spectacular enough to get its own featured film, yet for some reason they warped the subtext, completely ruining Dr. Seuss's message about environmental friendliness. It's all Why about the trees! Thank you. It's all about the trees. <laughs> powerful, powerful. The statements that you can make about the forest can help the tree in your heart. That's right. It can help the tree in your heart grow. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, we've talked about environmentalism. Let's move on to hour three about conformity. <laughs> the star belly sneeches. Now, at what point in your life did you want to get trendy? Now, these little weird creatures, the sneeches, the very own Dr. Seuss made up these weird creatures that just conform. Isn't that strange that... You don't have to conform. Money? Oh, my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Savage. My, now, my fault. My fault. Now, why would anybody want to conform? Why would this conflicting message between environmentalism and conformity be present in Dr. Seuss's greatest works? Now, here's where we get to the real thesis of it all. Dr. Seuss did not write his own novels, no. As you see in the hit film, Ooh, Star yeah. Wars, Episode 4... We see many of these messages of environmentalism and conformity. Thus, we can begin to draw a link between how George Lucas may or may not be the ghostwriter on Dr. Seuss novels. You may be asking yourself, wasn't George Lucas born after Dr. Seuss? And yes. You now, would be right. <laughs> but I would like to think, right. I would like to expound upon that. I think <laughs> that the Sneeches are people trying to stop the Meeches. What were Thanks. you scared of? That was also in that book. I read it, and I think... That Dr. Seuss is a visionary. Sometimes you don't have to fit in with others, like the Steeches. Sometimes you have to find your beaches. Powerful. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. I enjoyed the tone from Jackson, and I enjoyed the Randy Savage impression. I didn't feel like it was, like, very coherent. I wasn't feeling a lot of, like, good flow in that one. It felt a little bit more like someone was, like, recording a podcast about Dr. Seuss, and then Ran Macho Man Randy Savage, like, <laughs> really wanted to be a part of it, and so they let him, but he did not really know what was going on There's or was not given any kind of debriefing <laughs> on what was gonna happen. Did you know Dr. Seuss is really dark, and Randy Savage is like, no way, man. <laughs> no! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I I think that's a two pointer for each of you, but it was funny. I did I did enjoy it. Okay, okay. We are back to uh, Devon and Jackson for this one. Uh, this is going to be your last prompt as a duo, so go ahead and choose wisely. What are you thinking, mammoth? Mammoth. Here is your prompt. Early humans accuse one another of being fake mammoth fans. You know you know nothing about the mammoth. What you talk about? Me put you on mammoth. What you talk about? You you know put me on mammoth. Me see mammoth for the first time. You just so happy to be there. What me put you on mammoth? What are you talking about? I put you on no, mammoth. We saw no. together. Me, 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 me saw, saw you, you looking at both mammoth. 
me think you fake mammoth fan. What? Me, me, me saw you shave after you see bald mammoth. What? Me day one. Me no, day one. You know fan. day one. No, you you bald me mammoth. Me right or die. Now. Me right or die, mammoth. Me, that's me. See how hairy me be? You see, you, you see how hairy me be? Me one with mammoth. You fell off. You fell. You fell off. Me. You you peaked. Too much oh, hair. Yeah. Yeah. Not me mammoth. did peak. Peak mammoth. Peak mammoth season. You fall off. You know. You know. Fan of mammoth. Me fan of mammoth. No. 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 See, I me eat. Me breathe. Me me sleep. Mammoth. <laughs> me find you obsessed with mammoth. Think you too into it. Oh, you think me too into it that me fake? Me got rock picture. You riding bald mammoth. Fake mammoth, man. Me think you trying too hard. Me think no. you not enjoy media like normal. No. Like normal. <laughs> no, no. Just because. Just me think you need a real back. No, no. Just because you, you find me writing on how much me mammoth best friends. You mad. You big mad. Name five song by mammoth. <laughs> uh, uh, first off, we got song Tusk. That's tusk by Mammoth, and then we got Trunk, mm. Trunk, Trunk also by Mammoth, and then we uh, and then we got Harry some bitch also by Mammoth. Ah, 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 ah. feature, feature, ooh, Bunny ooh, ooh, Mammoth feature. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I could have let that one go on forever, honestly. Jesus, that was really funny. I, I desperately need someone to take a, some amount of that and animate two cookie monsters going back and forth. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with, you fall off. <laughs> you fall off. <laughs> uh, awesome, that's, yeah, that's three points each, easy. Good job. <laughs> uh, this next one's gonna be for Bluto and Devon. Uh, go ahead and pick one of the remaining two. Mm, what's she feeling, Bluto? <laughs> <laughs> what you say? <laughs> Texas speech, Texas speech, I'm taking All right, <laughs> all right. Uh, here's your prompt. Two text-to-speech voices read out the texts between me and my stepdad. Me proud of you today, son. I am not your son. Just because I didn't raise you from birth doesn't mean that I don't care. But you are not my real dad. Real is in heart. (laughs) (laughs) I love you, son. Never forget. (laughs) <laughs> well, well uh, why why didn't you show up to my baseball game? Too busy. Too busy? More like better things to do. Know that I still care. Are you still coming by the house today? Only after you leave. Okay. I will leave my gift in the foyer. Happy birthday, son. Oh, thank you. Father. Wide emoji. Wide (laughs) emoji. Wide emoji. (laughs) Awesome. Uh, Just as robotic as a real stepdad relationship. You you broke my brain when you whipped out the empty popcorn (laughs) tin that's been in in your house since like 2020. I I was going to try and somehow get you to a surprise birthday party, but I didn't know how to get you there. (laughs) I was going to be an obstinate stepchild all the way. I'm sorry. I think you both were a little too stuck in the caveman voice. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was, I was not wondering. Gonna, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time, like, coming out of it. <laughs> I, I caught Bluto doing it, too. Yeah. I, yeah, I was, I was, I was trying, wondering I was trying to go was into text it. lingo, like, two <laughs> day, like, two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, like, that, I, that's I, what made me break down. My, I, heard, I heard that. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the limits of doing audio only. Yeah. Um, I I think I'm going to give you both two points for that one. Not one. We have one more prompt left of the round. It is going to go to Jackson and Bluto. Are y'all ready to see it? Sure. Okay. Here is your prompt. The post office worker is definitely going to eat your outgoing parcel. Uh, hi, uh, I'm trying to send some like perishable foods through the mail service. I don't know if this is going to make it to like West Amsterdam. Uh, how long do you think it'll take? Like uh, an hour, it, it, two hours? Let me let me see this. Let me weigh it. Oh, ooh, oh. Ooh, ooh, yeah, okay. it's a lot. It's a lot. My grandmother loves cookies. Yeah, uh, co- cookies. Yeah, they're pecan. <laughs> uh oh, peca- pe- pecan. What what yeah. else? What what else is going on in here? Uh, so like, she's really particular about cookies, right? So we put a little bit of cinnamon and some raisins in there. Um, she Ew, really okay. loves. Oh. I didn't know. No, no, it's a, it's a personal, a personal preference. Okay. No, like, okay. Don't worry okay. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's not like you're going to eat it anyway. So like I could just ship it. Cause oh, you know. I, okay. Yeah. No, like, yeah, no, we're fine. 
Yeah, okay. Um, how much is this gonna cost? Like, do you think this is gonna, uh, like, take an arm and a leg out of me? No, I mean, like, it, this is pretty hefty. Are you sure there isn't more in here going out? Like, you can no, be honest it, with me. It is, it is exactly 12 cookies. 12 pounds of 12 cookies? Yeah. How big are the cookies? They're pretty big. Grandma usually eats, like, one after, like, every meal. You, you tell me there's a 14 by 14 by 12 cookie a dozen of those in here in this box right now you want me to ship to west Amsterdam? made with love yeah made with love (laughs) made with love grandmother's love and cinnamon cinnamon (laughs) and raisins and pecans raisins and pecans yeah okay um so this is going west like do you want express shipping what how soon are they expecting this just out of curiosity so like i'm expecting it to get there within like two to three days i mean it shouldn't Mm. be that bad you know like, okay. it, it shouldn't take that long, you know? It's just a little bit of cookie. Yeah, no. And, like, and like, do, does the person receiving it know how many they're getting? Just Yeah, like, Grandma yeah, knows feel. that I love her a lot and that she would receive every single individual cookie. I've told her about this. We've been planning it for weeks. Oh, uh, okay. Um, that makes are sense. You, a little... Are you drooling? Hmm? No. Are you... No. Hmm? What? Are you... What's up? Are... are you thinking about eating my grandmother's famous secret recipe cookies that i've told you the um, entire ingredients of i'm taking offense to that okay. i'm a professional <laughs> i think that's a, I, I think i'm taking offense to that is a perfect place to cut that one off <laughs> excellently done that's that's what we like to see on the show you're both getting three points for that yes what are we <laughs> what are we <laughs> what are we <laughs> let's take a look at everybody's scores at the end of that game uh, Devon looks like uh, he is still in the lead with 40. Uh, Jackson Shee! now is 38. Right. Uh, Bluto is is now uh, in third with 37. Uh, oh, but it's oh. it's such a narrow margin of points. Anything could happen. And uh, I think we're about ready to uh, move on to our next uh, mini act. Uh, hey, B, can you guess who I'm supposed to be? Tell me what you got. My boat take. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. You are Strong Bad from Strong Bad email number 186 Environment when his sentence gets interrupted. Wow, you're really good at this. Uh, hopefully that streak continues into our next mini act, which is called The Big Interview. Players, you will all be interviewing to work for me, but you won't be interviewing as yourselves. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to hire you. You will each have a hidden identity that you can earn a bonus point if you can get me to guess without ever outright saying it. But just like the last mini act, it's more about your performances than it is about the gimmick. I've got the secret identities and I will be sending them to you as a DM in Discord. You will all be applying to work at an animation studio. Welcome in everybody. We sure are happy to have some fresh faces in here. Uh, We here at Weem Jerks, we're looking to hire some some fresh talent in here. Don't matter necessarily what you do, we're willing to to consider all kinds of different talents and, and skills. Uh, to help us out here at Weem Jerks to uh, 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 improve our animation studio. So let's let's start with some interview questions right here. Number one over here. Uh, what uh, would you say is your strongest skill uh, in a workplace environment? Well, let me tell you that ruling a country is my greatest honor. Well, all right. That's gr- I love that for you. Could you uh, maybe give me a little bit more about how that works in a uh, workplace environment? Of course, of course. Well, let me tell you, keeping my daughter in line is a very tough job, but I damn well do it. And let me tell you, peace is what all true workers strive for. All right, all right. So you got some kind of managerial type instincts going on love that love that always needs some big bosses all right you hear number two jackson uh <laughs> can you tell me as well what do you what do you feel like is your strongest workplace skill uh um i think um my strongest skill these these lights are so hot um my strongest skill is being able to Endure. I uh, I don't I don't I don't take a lot of breaks. I I just kind of uh, oh, I just I just keep going. You know, I just get through it through the day, even when the room is tilted at an angle. You know, we just kind of we gotta get the work. We gotta make quota. You know, I can I can pump out a storyboard if you need it right away. I can I can fill in to do some line work. Uh, yeah, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we love to hear uh, workers willing to work for much harder than we are paying them. Uh, always good to have that kind of work ethic 
And uh, all right, now uh, uh, number three over here, Pluto. Can you tell me? Uh, can you ask the same question for me? What do you feel like is your greatest workplace skill? <laughs> hey, I'm like a I'm like a trivia. Like I'm I'm a general know it all. Like if you asked me a question, I'd answer like, oh man, how would you do this? I'd go, oh, what is cell drawn animation? You know that kind of thing. I'm really good at that kind of stuff. Um, I would say that like if you need anything done. I have an approximate knowledge of that kind of stuff, but I am really looking forward to working for this company. Wink. Uh, can't can't wait. Well, right. We always need some extra help over in customer service department. Uh, that's looking good for you. All right, let's uh, let's circle back around here. Uh, number one, Devon. Uh, can you tell me uh, what what was your experience like in your last uh, workplace environment? Oh, well, my job was very difficult for, you see, at a rival company, they wanted to destroy our business. So I hired the mightiest warrior in the land to bring our job up to where it should be. All right. I know some of those, you know, mergers and, and, uh, Mergers and things can get a little he hectic. Uh, glad to hear you are a, a strong, hard worker, uh, able to manage that sort of thing. All right. Uh, number two, uh, I'm going to uh, let me take a look at your resume real quick here. Uh, can you explain uh, what you've been working on uh, for your last sort of period of time? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to take a seat on the floor real quick um, while I talk. Well, that's about, all right. Uh, Go right ahead. Uh, you no, know, we I did. um landscaping you know we uh we we took a lot of rocks and we just kind of put them in a in a dune you know and trying to make a like a waterfall or whatever you know just kind of just the sun was beating down but you know i i persevered i made this work you know i'm gonna lay down actually on the floor if you don't mind um Can yeah you, you know did this feels much better actually no uh yeah no i just i did a lot of work outdoors you know and um i did what i could do you know i just i i got through it you know sometimes i just worked for hours and hours and hours you know and wouldn't stop and things would be so good you know and then people would be like maybe we should take a lunch break man i'd be like no it's fine i can do this it's what yeah you know yeah you know what i'm saying all right yep uh, writing down land scaping. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Love that. All right. And uh, number three here, I'm going to ask you the same question. Can you explain kind of your, your past work history, what you were doing before this? <laughs> Actually, I haven't had a job, but I'll tell you what I do have. Competitive attitude, a can-do spirit, a daily double knowledge of information, and I dress pretty well, too. Uh, I dress pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it looks smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, right. To each his own. All right, folks. Uh, thanks so much for coming in today. Uh, don't call us. We will call you. Uh, and uh, thank you for your interest in Ween Uh Have a great rest of your day, folks. We'll be in touch, probably, maybe. What is the callback number? <laughs> <laughs> B. Who do you think yeah. Devon was? I believe, and I'm not super familiar with this franchise, but I believe it was the king from the Zelda CDI game. You nailed it. You nailed it. That's exactly who I, Devon I was. I picked up on some of the voice stylings a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some of the, some of the that voice second one. That's, that's it, perfect, yeah. because uh, it, it was specifically sentence-mixed King Harkinian. <laughs> um, I, yeah. <laughs> And that then, is why I was talking like this. I forgot that that's not how he talks in normal way. So yeah, Devon's going to get the bonus point uh, for, for the guess. Uh, who did you think Jackson was? Jackson was a little tough. Um, the I know there was a lot of like heat and like sun situation mm -hmm. going on. Um, something about like the floor being crooked. And then I thought maybe the when he laid down and felt better, I was wondering if maybe he was like meant to be in a 2D platforming game or something like that. So my best guess is going to be the protagonist from Dig Dug or something like that, like a very diggy sort of hot universe 2D platformer. That is a pretty interesting guess. Uh, but no, Jackson was just dehydrated, just really fucking dehydrated. Oh, I way overthought that. <laughs> 
I way fucking overthought that. I like that angle of it though. That, that's pretty good. So no bonus point for Jackson, but uh, Sorry. we still we still have our performance points to give out. Um, <gasps> Pluto, uh, who do you think who do you think Pluto was? B. I might also be very wrong about this, but I think Pluto was the guy from that car in the garage video that says knowledge. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. I, I wish I was. Because <laughs> I got, I picked up on like, I know a lot of things and he was bragging about everything. And then there was also the bit at the end where he was like, but I'm a real nice dresser. I don't know why that's where my brain went. I, I respect that guess so fucking much. I, I love you. I want to give you the biggest fucking kiss. But no, Bluto thought this was the Jeopardy auditions. Yeah, I was I was trying to audition oh! for Jeopardy. I, was, I fucked up. That makes that's a so studio over, isn't that. it? I thought for sure Bluto was giving it away with the like. Yeah, the, I have, a, I have daily, a daily double. What is Celtron animation? <laughs> no, you're absolutely correct. That's that one's on me. No, I I, I think we should give Bluto the point anyway because I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> You're abs- I, now that I look back at it, you totally did. Bluto, I I, I want to give you all three points for your performance. Um, so yes. you're gonna so you're gonna get a total of three because your performance uh, was fucking incredible. Uh, I liked I'm, your. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my bad. My, what I, is dehydration? Uh, I liked the way you Thank acted you. that one. Um, and uh, Jackson and Devon, I actually am gonna give you both two for yours. Uh, because just some something about like. Uh, uh, Devon, I kind of felt like you were you were struggling to get the lines out. Um, and Jackson, I was kind of feeling the same thing from you. Uh, but Jackson, I'm a little more like forgiving of just because like that was kind of part of the bit. I don't I don't feel as strongly about that one for Jackson. In fact, I'm kind of I'm almost tempted to like just bump that up to a three for Jackson. Honestly, I think Jackson's performance was really good, even though I didn't get it. I, mm-hmm. Now, in hindsight, I fully, fully get it. And I think the different aspects of of like the breathe, the heavy breathing and the laying down um and and all that i think that was really good actually yeah uh you know what fuck it yeah jackson we're gonna give you the three points uh but devon we're gonna give you two for the performance but that turns out to be a three for everybody anyway because devon's character was guessed <laughs> not, um, <laughs> not one g- good news the mini act uh, meant nothing score wise but it was a very very fun time <laughs> it fun and it's kind of hard too because you have to balance like getting the guessable character and also the comedy it's it's a tough one that's why we put it in the champions trial this time yay and and B, you did a very good job with the interview questions. Uh, I would I would work. Thanks. Beam, I try too hard to be funny when that's not my job. Thirty <laughs> points. Thirty points to be. Thirty points. Uh, jerks. Uh, so that's going to put Devon at forty three, Jackson at forty one, and Bluto at forty uh, at the end of that mini act. Uh, B, you want to tell everybody about Act Three? Let me tell you about Act Three. Our final round is Act Ensemble. Everyone will now act out scenes together as a family, and you will all be scored individually as a family. If necessary, we will assign you roles to play within your scene based on the prompt. There's no time limit for this one either. So is everyone ready to give it their all in our final round? Yippee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here is your first prompt of round three. Dating some visual novel characters, ditch the player and start dating each other. Wow. Hey there, cuties. What a wonderful day it is to, today at like um, f- fall, in, fall in Love College. You're looking you're looking fine today. How's it going? It's going okay, I guess. I mean, you haven't you heard the news? The news? No, I don't watch any of that. Yeah, Biffany, she got hurt from like the school accident. Oh okay. But like, what does that have to do with us? We're s- what does that have to I'm do worried- with us? She's our friend! We're in the same oh. romance club together. Yeah, but like I'm only you- here for y'all. Like for us you yeah you're just here for us yeah y'all like the baddest ones here how do i how do i quick load i don't understand what's happening this is not what i wanted <laughs> are you wait a minute <laughs> are you the player or are you the player don't acknowledge me just I, I i thought i thought i was supposed to be talking to biffany right now i don't is this like an unskippable scene is this like an easter egg like are you for real right now are you yeah. treating us as like some kind of game we're real Maybe. human beings how long have I had this on Steam? One one hour? Okay. How to refund game. Yvonne! Oh, w- wait. I thought y'all were... Wait a minute. I've lost a thread. I thought I was a player. E- I also lost the narrative. I thought I was supposed to be falling in love. I'm definitely the girl here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you guys. No, like... Y- 
You're supposed to be following in love as the NPC with Bluto. But you're definitely going to fall in love with me because I'm the bad boy player. What is going what? on? <laughs> what is happening? I'm real. I'm real. I'm Am real. I real? <laughs> no, y'all are code. This doesn't make sense. I have you booted up on my game right now, and you're both going to fall in love with me. No. Yeah? You know what? <laughs> I, I'm I, out of here. You guys can have each other. This shit's getting too weird. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Come back. Wait. No, we can make this work. No, like, ignore, like, ignore them. Yeah, yeah, we can make us, this work. Us. You us. both ignore think them. you're the main protagonist. This is not going to work. Wait. What do you mean? I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm on the honor roll. I'm, I'm, I'm number still one here. in the class. Yeah, number one in the class does not make you number one in the world, Hello. dickhead. Well, <laughs> ladies, and ladies, you. it's good. <laughs> Huh? You gotta stop! You gotta stop encroaching on my boundaries. Bethany is hurt, and I'm gonna go see her. Okay. Well, I mean, you're gonna stay, right? Right? Right, Jackie? I'm going with her. Like, I don't, I don't know who you are. I don't, I don't understand anything you're trying to. You just kind of stand there and oh. wait for me to talk to you. Well, I mean, I'm pressing all the right dialogue boxes according to this strategy guide. Should be totally in love with me. You just stand there for like 30 seconds to a minute at a time and then just say something. You're just like, oh yeah, I, I like say, that I, too. I say yes, that's not what you want to hear. Life doesn't have a strategy guide, you plebe. Bro, I never should have bought this self-aware video game from a cursed seller. They're putting ancient curses in the stupidest places these days. <laughs> They're putting them in the, the strangest places. The Steam Marketplace, my trading card game. <laughs> were you becoming self-aware or did you I like- lost me. You were like, yeah, I'll be the player. And then you started talking like a video game character. So I was like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a second. No, I was, talk I was talking like a jackass, and y'all have nothing to do with. I I respect it. I I respect it. Honestly, I see where I see where uh, y'all are coming from with that one. I think so... no matter how you interpret it, there being two competing players. <laughs> Am I <laughs> who real? Both, who both think that they're <laughs> the ones controlling the game is a really I was good like, twist. MMO. <laughs> it devolved in a very funny way. I think Bluto deserves full three points mm -hmm. if for no other reason than you you kept the plot and biffany, mm. <laughs> biffany. that biffany to me that is going to be three for bluto two for jackson two for devon oh not one fair our next prompt of the round is going to be actually it's going to the other players oh man <laughs> 1920s mobsters rough up a speed run cheater please, please don't hurt me i didn't Whoa. realize it was a crime well, 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 look who clipped through the wrong door. Listen, I'm, I promise I didn't see anything. I'm going too fast to see anything. Hey, boss, <laughs> I can give him the work seat right now if you want to. Oh, why don't we show him all them cutscenes cut scenes that they skipped? What do you think about that one? <laughs> please, please, I promise, I promise I was doing it legit. There, there, there's no hacks involved in this. Please, just let me go. I Shush. promise. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. <laughs> Can What's I work his legs first? <laughs> he can't oh, brain skip, yeah. but he can't skip if he ain't got no legs, right? If Let's see you try to BLJ. Hey, <laughs> where do you think you're going? <laughs> I'm yeah. not going anywhere. I promise. Please. Bing, bing. <laughs> Don't mind me just rubbing up against this wall. Just oh, boss. Boss, he's trying to clip. He's trying to no hey, clip. Just Stop! Get off of me! Ah, oh, I'm stuck in the wall! I'm stuck in the wall, boss! I could never do this trick legitimately, but I think I'm gonna have to try just this once. Boss! Boss, he oh frame God. trapped me. I don't. I don't know how to save you. No. <laughs> no. I go after him, boss. I believe in you. I broke my restraints. Why Why did you guys want to rough me up? Just because you've got a business going on here doesn't mean I saw anything. Listen, pal. Games done quick isn't really what you think it is. We gotta make money here. Listen, I need my cut of the profit too, all right? And maybe we can work together on this. Both of us are illegitimate in ways that nobody can understand. <laughs> Still right. stuck in the wall over here. Be I get, quiet. I, I can get him out. But you have to forget you ever saw me. Hmm. Yeah, all right. I think we got a deal, but you got to get him out first. Okay. Please all don't talk to me about parallel universes. All it's going to take me is four quadrilateral parallel universes and 12. No! <laughs> 
awesome. <laughs> that incorporated so many things I wasn't expecting it to and went all the places I was really hoping for. I feel like despite Jackson being the boss, I think Devon really kind of stole I did like the show between the two of them. I liked the goon oh, voice a lot, and I liked I'm the sorry, uh, boss. <laughs> the, I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> that was very good. I want to give Devon and Bluto three for that one, uh, and I think I'm going to give Jackson just two. Boys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. We have one more prompt of the game. It is going to all three of you, and it is IKEA Battle Royale. Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> Uh, I ping kitchen. I ping kitchen. Okay. Okay. I'm going to drop over by Hauga. That's the dresser <laughs> section. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to go there. We should be close enough that if I hear shots, I'll be able to rotate. Okay. All right. I'm going to drop in toilet town and I might be inactive for five minutes. Don't worry about what I'm doing there. Okay. I, pick, I picked up meatballs. I picked up meatballs. I've got a shrewd in pot. Uh, I have an AK found in a toilet. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Master Chief. No. Master Chief. Master Chief. I'm down. Oh, oh, all right. All right. Oh. I, they're pushing. They're pushing. They're pushing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna flank. I'm gonna flank. He's building. He's building. He's building. He's building. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm still on the toilet. I'm scared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. The sofa. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and take down his building supplies. All right. I'm building I, a ramming device. <laughs> you got this. You got this, Devon. I, I, I can't. I can't pick him up. I can't pick him up. Red, I'm scared. Red, I have extra parts. I have extra parts. Res me, I, please. Res I, me. I need. No, I need toilet trees. Can you? If I go over there, I'm gonna die. I can't go over there. I'm, I'm dropping. I'm dropping. Jackson, I'm dropping Jackson. mats. <laughs> Jackson, I need the mats. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to try and build. All right. I'm going to pick you up, Jackson. Thank you. <laughs> ja Jackson, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. Okay. Keep going. Uh, keep going. I'm building. Jackson, I'm, building. I'm down. I got the blue bag. I got a big blue bag. So give me all your items. I got bigger okay. inventory. I got the big blue bag. <laughs> Wait, I, just, I just picked you up. You can pick me back up, right? Ba backpack him. Backpack him. We can go to the entrance. We okay. can go to the okay. entrance. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's the entrance? You understand Guys. Swedish? The map isn't Swedish. The map isn't Swedish. <laughs> Just pick him up. Put him down and we'll storm, pick him up. The storm's okay. here. The storm. <laughs> the storm is here. The storm's here. <laughs> chat, 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 look me in my eyes. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't don't close, don't close, don't, don't go, don't me in my eyes, Jackson. Leave me behind. We gotta go. We gotta go. If we want to, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Leave me behind. Hit the gritty. I, Hit the I've gritty. I've got his membership card. I've got his membership card. We, we can reboot him. Creep, left foot out. Run around, stay away. This is no time to gritty. <laughs> We're in Bed Bath and Beyond section. We need to get out of here. We're downstairs. Uh, Get the list. Get the list. Okay, okay, okay. I've got the list. I've what got the need? list. All right. What do we need? It looks like there's four shoppers remaining. It's one team and one guy, one solo. We can do this. Oh. Oh. Jackson, I'm down. I got hit. I'm I, hit. I don't have any meds. What do I do? I'm, crawl I'm crawling. Take my Dunkelstorf. <laughs> it's yours now. Right. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I'm going to check out. I'm sorry. I gotta go to check out. We believe in you, Jackson. You can make it. I'm checking out. I'm checking out. Devon had the coupon code. Uh oh, they got a Blaha bomb. They got a Blaha bomb. You gotta run. What? 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 <laughs> oh. Third place. <laughs> very good that was everything i hoped it would be and more excellent holy shit uh i think for that one i want to give uh devon two jackson and bluto i want to give both of you three let's go. Uh, let's go we outside let's take a look at everybody's scores at the end of round three it looks like ooh, devon oh uh, ma God. just just managed to keep the lead by a single point uh at the end there um, Perfect 5-0. With, uh, with Bluto in second place with 49, uh, Jackson in third with 48. Such a close fucking game. Uh, but there can be only one winner, and today it is Devon. Thank you so much, Devon, for playing. I did this for you, Holly. <laughs> All your hopes and dreams, they're mine now. You can't have them. <laughs> uh, of course, after the stream, we will be uh, doing a small donation to eSims for Gaza. Uh, but Devon, you get to go on to yes. the finale episode, so congratulations. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> What Yahoo! an upset, you guys. Mm, but everybody did so, so good. What a, what a phenomenal episode. I would like to take this opportunity to thank not only our players, but also our supporters, including, but not limited to, Aspen, Bailey Wagner, Cleaver Bacon, DJ Pizzake, Ontor, Hyacinth Tea Garden, and Paradox Gavel. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Couldn't do it without you. Our music was composed and arranged by Will Abel, who you can find at soundcloud.com slash wheelabel. And before I go, I want to give each of our players a chance to let you know where you can find them. Uh, so Devon, where can folks find you on the World Wide Web? Theboyhole.live. Theboyhole.live. Don't get scared. Type it in. T-H-E-B-O-I-H-O-L-E dot L-I-V-E. 
Don't type it in wrong. It will take you somewhere else. Type it in correctly. The boy hole dot live. I think people should go there and, and put a message in your little message box. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being on the show yet again. Uh, Jackson, where can folks find you? Uh, you can find me at, uh, at, at Bluto on twitch.tv slash Bluto. <laughs> I stream usually <laughs> early in the morning. Use the uh, website link. Come on. Oh, I don't come know on. the website link. Okay. I know that you can go see Lumberjacks and that Bluto dot gay. All right. <laughs> I, was, I didn't think it was that. I was going to say that, but I was going to feel bad if it wasn't that. WTF also works. You can see me at twitch.tv slash Lumberjackson. Um, I'm doing a partner push right now. So if any support is appreciated, thank you. Have a great day. Uh, thank, thank you so much, everybody. You, you, you all did a fantastic job. This is such a great episode. And that's all we got. So uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you for watching. We will be back soon uh, with the last episode of the Act Promptly Champions trial before we get to our finale. Uh, and uh, with all that said, good night, everybody. Do take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Yippee.